Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to transfer files and a lot of files from one hard drive to another or it could be an SSD as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this software. So by clicking the link in the description, it's gonna open this mini tool partition wizard link. And you're just gonna go here, home user, and download the free version. There is a paid version, however, you should be able to do everything with the free version. So after downloading that, you're gonna install the software and we're gonna open it. So mini tool partition wizard, you're gonna click yes for the um, administrator privileges. All right, so you can see here, it loaded all of our disks. Right here, disk one is my main SSD that is on my laptop. Disk two and disk three are external hard drives. My disk 2 is kind of broken and several several years old. So the reason why I want to transfer disk 2 into disk 3 is because disk 2 might fail. And we can also test that right here in mini tool partition wizard with the surface test and it can read and test all the blocks in the hard drive. So to transfer our files from here, so 418.78 gigabytes into our disk 3 which has 1.6 terabytes of free storage you want to make sure that this used number on your first drive is smaller than the unused on the second so you're going to click on the disk 2 partition you can see there are all the files in there so to merge disk 2 into disk 3 the first thing i'm going to do is shrink disk 3 so we're going to select disk 3 and the partition you're gonna click move or resize partition and I want the unallocated space after to be a bit bigger than our disk 2 so like 500 GB so you want to remove 500 from here right there just like that and it is always recommended to back up your data before moving or resizing the partition. However, using enhanced data protection protecting mode, there should be low risk in doing this operation. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And it has unallocated 500 GB. It is still pending. So we're gonna click apply right here. It says close all other applications before you apply the pending changes. So I'm just gonna go ahead, close Google Chrome and OBS should be fine. It is just saving storage to our main disk. Okay, so shrinking the partition has been applied successfully. This took around 30 minutes. It might take more or less time depending on how much uh, storage is uh, available on your disk, how big the disk is and other stuff. So let's click OK. We can see we have a 500 GB unallocated space on the drive where we want to put stuff on. So I'm going to select our disk 2 partition, which we want to put into disk 3. And I'm going to click copy partition wizard. Click next. Then in our disk 2, I'm going to select the partition we want to move. Then click next. And where I want to copy it to, right here, we're going to select the empty unallocated partition. If you select the, the one where there is stuff, it must be unallocated. That's why we shrinked the disk first. And basically why we are shrinking it instead of just manually copy pasting with the file explorer is that the file explorer is kind of slow since the windows moving thing isn't very optimized plus having like an unallocated partition will prevent any data loss for the partition that we had before so we're just going to do that and click next and copy the partition with resize so it's going to move this into the unallocated space well you can just select the whole thing so it uses the full 500 gb so you don't have empty 
unallocated space. Then click finish and right here, operations pending, you're going to click apply, close all other applications, click yes. And this is going to take some time as well, since we are working with hard drives, especially this like 15 year old hard drive that I'm copying from is going to be pretty slow. So I'll see you guys when it's done. As you can see, the partition from disk 2 was successfully copied into disk 3. Although this did take around seven hours. So I let it go overnight. All right. Now the next step is to merge both of these partitions just to make it easier to access all files in the file explorer. So we're going to merge partition right here on the left. In disk 3, we're going to select, you want to choose a partition that will be expanded to include adjacent partition. So select the big one, click next, and then a small one. So I'm going to call it, what is my thing? I think it's a Seagate, Seagate old hard drive, just like that. And all the content in our smaller partition will be put inside a folder in the bigger partition. Then we click finish and operations pending, click apply. Strongly recommend you to turn off all other applications, especially ones that are currently using hard drives. So like a file explorer, we're just going to click yes. So we can click OK and we can see our disk 3 now has just one big partition that should contain all the files. So right here, you can see we have Seagate old HTD and it should contain all the files from our disk 2. Now then, disk 2. We can see here we got a Windows notification saying scan drive for errors. So instead of doing that through Windows, I'm going to do it through Minitool Partition Wizard surface test and check partition it's going to scan all the blocks in the hard drive and check if there are errors so let's do that and just see why it's very important to update your hard drives especially if they are running constantly or just by age since just sitting they do degrade also because of vibrations and other stuff we can see that the surface scan is complete and there are no errors found so that's great. It took two hours and 14 minutes. We can exit that. So since I have everything saved here into disk three, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe this. So wipe partition. You can either fill sectors with zero, with one, zero and one, or do these very slow passes that ensure that the data is completely re removed. So let's just do the quick one. And there we go. Operations pending. You can click apply. Close all other applications. Yes. Okay, so now we have our disk two. It is unformatted since we did wipe it. So what I want to do is format the partition. I'll just call it D. File system NTF NTFS. If you are using Windows, um, I would just recommend doing NTFS and cluster size. I'm going to pick 64 kilobytes since I plan on using the drive for external games and for recording so having a big cluster size will have it be more optimized let's click ok and there we go let's click apply and it's done there we go we have a fully erased drive we can see here I don't know why we called it D. Let's go ahead and rename it. So right here, we can 
partition management, set label. Let's call it recordings. There we go. Apply. Okay. And now it's called recordings. It's fully empty and it should work perfectly fine. It is an old drive though. So let's actually see how fast it is. So this mini tool partition wizard has a disk benchmark. Let's actually try that. Let's select our D drive and let's just keep it like this and start. All right, so we can see the difference between drive D and drive E. The speeds are way faster on our new drive. So it's gonna be way easier to just read files off of it. If you wanna download anything or upload anything, it's gonna be way faster and definitely more reliable. I'm not sure how long the lifespan of hard drives are. It is pretty long, but it is always recommended if you have important files, pictures, and documents to transfer your data occasionally or using a redundant storage like in a NAS. I might make a video on that, on how to convert your old laptop into a NAS, a network access storage device. And yeah, that's basically it. Minitool Partition Wizard is a really cool application that helps you manage hard drives as well as SSDs, but there are definitely less features for the SSD since uh, it is much more simple to, to use it. Also, our disk 2 is still an MBR, which is an old format. Let's just convert it to GPT, which uh, will make it a bit faster and more compatible with newer devices. You can just click apply and it'll do that. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. In the description, there is a link to download Minitool Partition Wizard. You can get the demo for free. And of course, there's the free version. The pro version is quite expensive. It's like $60 per year, I believe. Depends on uh, what package you get. But uh, everything shown in this video should be able to be done with a free version. However, if you could not shrink your partition, there will be a link in the description showing how to shrink a partition without mini tool partition wizard. So that's it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.